and I hope you're doing well and we're going diving right into it. So um, my goal for this webinar is to give you a clear view from where to start as a model and what it takes to become a successful model. Hey, Amber, Julia, it's okay. Oh, thank you so much. It sometimes happens. Uh, you cannot control a technology. Um, and Magali, I hope I pronounced it right. And, and Luisa, Stephanie, and uh, hello, hello, welcome. So also, um, I, uh, the, the goal of this webinar, it's not about the beauty in the model industry. It's all about the brains and the only way to make it as a model is through training your brains. And I will tell you later what training your brains means, but keep this in mind. And I'm already also very curious who is already with an agency and who is still uh, then say I, and who is an aspiring model or wants to get signed, then say me. So if you're an aspiring model, then say me. And if you're already with an agency, then say I. Very curious. Yeah, and uh, my goal for this webinar is to help two types of people. For those who are aspiring models, you get an idea of where to start. And for more experienced models, you get an idea which steps you need to take to get to the next level of your career very important and Amber is saying me hello Lori and Lu uh, Louisa me Lori me Julia me so a lot of me's very good so a lot of aspiring models in the room good 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 and Stephanie is saying me well maybe you're thinking who is talking to me on this webinar. Well, uh, welcome to this webinar. My name is Mandy Dion Liefeld. I'm a model coach from Amsterdam. That's why I have the thick accent. Living in New York, coaching models for Chanel, Dior, Prada, for one of the biggest agencies in the world. And my goal for this webinar is to give you a clear view from where to start as a model and what it takes to become a successful model and it doesn't mean eh, if one agency says no that the next one will do the same once i coached a girl who, her name is remy meyer and she had so many rejections but she keep on trying and trying and after two years so these are the agencies i'm working with she's now with the same agency as doubts and cruz and she's walking at the uh Fashion Week in Paris and London and Milan, but it took her two years to build that up. And uh, even you might think you're not the prettiest girl of the class. It's about a uniqueness that they are looking for. And of course, it's super exciting to go by yourself to these agencies. But if you don't do it, nothing will happen. So if you never try, you will never know. And wouldn't it be fantastic that you could walk for one of the biggest brands in a beautiful dress from Chanel or Prada, that one day you're in New York and the next day you're in Paris meeting a lot of different and talented people. So I want to tell a little bit more about my story. Um, I was around 14. I didn't know where to start, what to do. My mom keep on telling me, stand up straight, shoulders to the back, because I was very tall and I was very shy and insecure about my height. Because you don't want to be different in your teens. You just want to fit in. And I was super tall. I am 6'2", I'm still tall by the way, but I always keep my shoulders forward and maybe you recognize it that you're talking to your friends who are all smaller. So I was always a little bit like, hey guys, what are you saying? Um, and to the point that eventually, and of course I loved the great picture, which I didn't look terrible and the idea that I could travel and model, could make a living out of it was my dream and I grew up with my mother who had always had the best intentions for me to put a lot of empathy on my posture actually a lack of posture and keep on saying stand up straight put my shoulders to the back and she eventually put me on a runway coaching and that's where I uh, heard for the first time that I could make something out of myself if I worked hard enough 
And it was also the moment where everything really picked up for me. I went into the world. And at the time I uh, also participated, this is me, uh, taller than all of my other friends. Uh, and uh, um, I was uh, participating in the Ford model contest and I ended up as the runner up and there I launched my model career. And um, I was doing yeah, a lot of work in Paris, in London and Milan. But besides modeling, I always had a big passion for dancing. And at the time, I was still in high school trying to graduate. And then I was doing all these auditions. Maybe you saw some of the movies step up. There's like 400 people and 20 people will get into that academy, dance academy. And eventually, after lots of hard work, I uh, got accepted to uh, the dance academy to dance, but because I was so focused on modeling, I was so focused on getting into the dance academy, I messed up uh, big time and I didn't pass my exams. So I had to do the exact same procedure and I was devastated. I'm talking lots and lots of tears. So the year after that, I had to go through the exact same procedure. Contrary to what you might think, I was more nervous than the year before. And anticipation killed me. I actually thought I had messed up big time. They put me on a reserve list. And my confidence fell on an all-time low. I diverted by looking at possible other studies. But at the final moment, I got accepted. Yeah. And... um and I started and, and I still did a lot of modeling back then and the dance can be in a combination. And here is me also dancing. But at the exact, exact same time I started at the dance academy, I was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, which is a muscular disorder, uh, which means that I made too many white blood cells and it interfered from the signal from my brain to my muscles, so I couldn't even wash my hair, I couldn't even lift my arms or anything like that. But, uh, so it was paralyzation, which uh, sucks if you're in the dance academy and if you are, um, if you are, um, yeah, using your body a lot and you can't. And uh, eventually I got an operation, but I also orientate myself in maybe doing psychology studying psychology and eventually after a year I went to the hospital I got an operation I also thought if I come out of this hospital I want to do the things I really love because we cannot take things for granted and uh and that for me what I loved was modeling teaching and psychology so I combined everything and I started out as a model coach and um yeah and then eventually that that operation also enabled me to finish the dance academy and I was still studying psychology and everything combined. So my experience as a model, what I learned about posture in the dance academy and psychology, dealing with rejections, feeling confident, made me who I am, um, a model coach. <laughs> and 10 years ago, I went to New York for the first time and I knew it, either you love it or you hate it, but I definitely loved it. I felt like home. Cheesy but true, and I had to, without a doubt, come back and eventually move here. So I had imagined that my previous findings and performance in psychology with modeling could form the perfect base for my New York journey. So uh, it took me a couple of years to get my master's degree in psychology, and I saved 10,000 euros because, yes, New York is not cheap. So I could start just to develop these trainings and to go to the agencies. And also, if you want to start, you have to uh, really putting yourself out there and um, go to all these agencies. And I did. But uh, English is not my first language. So I was calling them and sometimes they were saying, what are you? Uh, and I'm saying I'm a catwalk coach because in Europe you would rather say catwalk coach than wrong way. And uh, she was, uh, some people were saying, ah, are you walking cats? I'm like, no, that's not the case. But um, it was it was hard in the beginning. But eventually there were some agencies who uh, I could work with. And yeah, that was amazing. So the fashion week, I was very busy, but also the fashion week is only two times a year. 
and I wanted to maintain myself in a living out of a model coach. So I was also, there was a girl coming up to me and saying, hey, uh, I would also learn from you, but I'm not in an agency. And that's where I started to give those open uh, classes for aspiring models because I could form the perfect bridge from the agencies and the models because I know what's needed and I can share that with you. But yeah, I mean, this was three years ago. Nobody really knew me back then. Uh, people, yeah, I, I maybe had two students in my class. Uh, so maybe I was earning $50 a week, which is not enough for New York. So I was really, really, uh, yeah, uh, paying attention to my daily purchases or let alone consider new clothes and always um, yeah it was almost counting down that I will be have to move because it was very I felt very alone in a big city I didn't have many friends and the different time zones didn't allow for a synchronized Skype session back home I could never really Skype because the day were already uh, it's already too late if it's six o'clock that's uh, 12 in the morning there and i really felt like an old time load it was not tears but just a really shitty period and i was super close to quitting but gradually my sessions started to get more attention people started to get to catch on things were getting better and i was invited to teach models from next models and leap models new york models the society and fusion and it was without a doubt an amazing opportunity i got to train and work with models who worked for chanel and dior Yves Saint Laurent, and here you see me working together with Gigi, cardi class um kendall jenner and very very uh, dear Kaya Gerbert, she's so down to earth. She's amazing, and uh, and that's what I want to say, guys. Don't don't give up. There is a niche for you, and these are the agencies I'm working with. And very thankful. And here are some students who made it right now. Maybe you know them, Selena Forrest, Kaya. Uh, uh, Kaya Gerber, I want to say. Kara Taylor, her birthday was yesterday. Um, and Sarah for Prada and Alex for Hermes. So uh, you guys probably don't want to go to the dance academy or study psychology and especially don't want to get sick to discover all of this. But my discoveries are important for you as well. And not only has it worked for me, but here's a story about Matilda Brandy. She was very insecure in the beginning. Uh, she was five, six. I'm also going to talk about uh, height a little bit later. <laughs> but she was five, six, and she felt so insecure. She didn't know what to do, where to start. So eventually we talked and talked. And I said, Matilda, please believe in yourself. And now she's walking for DKNY, Missoni, Armani. Uh, she's even on the cover of the Bazaar and the L. And uh, here are campaigns for Celine and walking down the streets. Uh, here she is on uh, Banana Republic. But she did it eventually. So what I'm going to talk about is being a top model is about natural beauty and being discovered. Secret number two, uh, beauty is confidence and confidence is training. And secret number three, the Instagram world we live in. Know your niche. So who of you believes that um, to start as a model, you have to get discovered on the streets? Who of you believe so? That if you have to, if you start as a model, you have to get discovered on the streets. Oh, we have some people who are <laughs> talking. Uh, to reconnect again for some reason. No worries, your story is inspiring. Thank you so much. And don't meet. The sad face, no. No, I don't, I don't. I feel uh, not necessarily, I think I can put myself out there by going to the actual agencies. I do, what do you mean on the streets? Um, what I mean on the streets is that somebody has to discover you while just walking. It can be in a mall, it can be anywhere. Okay. 
and to start yeah, really to start as a model. Um, so yeah, some people still think that most models get discovered uh, by casually strolling on the street where somebody fashionably um, stro or walking up to you and ask the question, have you ever considered modeling? And I can tell you that it is, it happens, but not a lot of the times. And even that screw started off by sending her pictures into an agency. That's how she jump started her career. She had to give her her all to develop herself. Being a model is not just being beautiful. You also have to acquire a strong mental uh, skills. Being a top model is a process, knowing how to walk the runway knowing how to pose in front of the camera, knowing uh, how to stay in shape. All of these things are an ongoing and ever improving part of the process. How do you keep on going after an ever growing amount of rejections? And that's hard. But let's say someone, someone does discover you on the street. That is obviously doesn't classify you as a supermodel. You follow the same path as everyone else does. So for example, I had a student in my class and she was discovered through this television program, Paul Fisher, I can make you a supermodel. So you might think, all right, she has been scouted, she has made it, but no, she had to, to attend plenty of castings to create exposure to herself and to get herself cast for shoots. Uh, so she casts for modeling agencies to actually get signed. So now she's hired and she still needs constantly development. She attended my classes a couple of weeks ago and practiced her walking skills. So in short, in order to become a model, you need to take an immense amount of action. It will not happen by itself. And here, even Sarah, we were walking, 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 and eventually she walked for the Louise Vuitton show, but it takes a lot of practice. So you might compare yourself to others and think, um, I'm not pretty enough, or maybe I'm not tall enough, or not thin enough, or the lack of personality. Well, whatever your irrational thought is, you have nothing to lose. If you do not set out and try, you will never know if you were able to achieve it. So, um, how tall are you? I already heard a couple of you guys, but how tall are you? You can be discovered everywhere, or then, no, of course, not scouting, basically, yeah. But I do believe you can get scouted on a race. That's true. So who, how tall are you? Five, six, five, eight, five, nine, five, eight, five, six, five, eleven, somewhere in between, five, two, five, five, Katie, five, one, five, two. Good, good, good. Yeah, so you might think, or I am, by the way, six, two, you cannot really see it. But yeah, I'm six two. What? True. Five six five one five two. Five two five. Okay. So have you ever seen this episode of America's Next Top Model? It was about the petite agent or the petite version, the petite models. Well, if you, I mean, they're not doing. That was only models who were under five six, and they're not doing that just for fun. They are doing that because there is a market. And I also, there are a couple of agencies that I know very well, and they have a petite division. So it doesn't mean that if you are 5'4", that you cannot start with modeling. You have to find your niece, but you have to research which agencies has that petite division. And even a friend of mine, she's 5'4", and she did a great campaign for Coca-Cola, which pays very well. So don't think that you cannot start with modeling. So how old are you guys? How old are you? So I will reveal my age. I am 33. Don't feel like it, but I'm 33. So how old are you? I already saw something, 18, 19. 
14, 23, 21 and 12, 18, turning 19 next month. Congratulations, I'll be 22 in July. Please add me on Insta so we can talk more. And to start modeling, 27, 18. Julia, I will come back to your request a little bit later on. Let me see if I can light this up, but um, I will come back to that as well. So the funny thing uh, is that I get a lot of messages, for example, on Instagram saying like, oh no, I am 18 or I'm 19, I'm way too old for modeling. Guys, that's not true. Even if you're 26, you can still start. And I see, uh, well, for example, myself, I'm still doing modeling jobs, I'm 33. And here I'm doing a back campaign in New York. It was amazing. And I don't know if you uh, knew her. Oh, thank you, Leticia. Thank you. It's really nice, really kind of you. Um, but this is a model I also coached when she was 30 and she just started modeling. Adesua. And she also, she is now 33 and she's doing the campaign of Chanel. And she's wearing threads and she has tattoos. So I think the the modeling industry really changed a lot. But it also, it takes a little while, but you have to find your niece and you have to put yourself out there. Well, even if you're 12, I think we had one lady who was 12 years old. Well, uh, there's also a market uh, for you. It's more the, the uh, child department. And if you wait two years, then you can get to the development, new faces. And even if you think like, oh, no, I'm not uh, thin enough, is also a market for the girls who are size seven, size six or eight. Um, and there's a huge curvy uh, industry market where uh, the girls have regular job or have um, regular, uh, a lot of jobs. Uh, I coached some girls uh, who walked for the Tommy Hilfiger show, uh, Michael Kors, and also she did a campaign for Nike. So don't underestimate that. And uh, where, where are you all coming from? Where do you live? Where do you live? I'm very curious. Well, I'm doing this webinar live from New York. This is uh, from New Jersey. It's not so far away. Michigan, Virginia, Michigan, Miami, Arkansas. Nice, nice, nice. So all over the U.S. basically. New Jersey, Japan. What? Trinidad. Orlando. Wow. So cool, so cool. Okay, so even if you're living in a small town and not in the big cities as in New York, well, Tokyo or um, London or LA, there are some possibilities as well. And especially now with Instagram, uh, getting scouted on Instagram or uh, with mother agencies who are in the small towns who are there to develop you. And then uh, they have a direct line with the bigger agencies, but you have the development. So you're not throwing into a wild concrete jungle, but, um, but research that what's around uh, in your neighborhood. So uh, you can start from there. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah, now that I've shown you that everyone can become a, become a model, isn't that awesome? And to become a model, you have to train hard and you have to work. Sorry that I say it, your butt off. But isn't it a really cool idea that everyone can become a model as long as they you work hard enough? And hardly anyone simply gets discovered. You will have to work hard for it. Everyone who has the ambition so can become a model. So do you think that you can train confidence? Is confidence something you can train? Very curious. Do you think you can train confidence? What do you think? 
Yes. Paula. Katie, yes. Definitely. Definitely, yes, yes. Okay. It's true. Now you were maybe always thinking confidence is that makes you beautiful. And confidence is what makes girls top models. And confidence is something that you can train. Hey, I want to I want to get you excited instead of nervous. So yes, I believe so while others are born with it, uh, natural like me. Good. Good. Yes and no. I think people are born naturally confident. It is the circumstances that they are born into that makes them uncomfortable. So I think you can learn to be confident. I was born with it. Tiffany, good. Yes, though. Accept myself. And that's true. That's definitely true. And I want to share a story. So I worked for Elite Model Look for five years and I counseled the winner of the Elite Model Look. So she was the winner. She was chosen out of 2000 girls as the most prettiest. So even though she won, she was super insecure about herself. Whenever she had to do a photo shoot, she had to cry. And having so much tension, which built up to a dramatic release, uh, she was so nervous, so insecure. So every time she had a photo shoot, she had to cry. And she just didn't believe that she was so pretty. She was too nervous. She didn't see herself as a pretty woman. And ev eventually she quit. She quit modeling. And it's very sad, but um, I want to show you that if you do not believe in yourself, then you will not get any further. And so people can say it to you, but you have to believe it. And of course, too much confidence is also a no-go. And multi agencies are looking for a personality. Clients are looking for a personality. So you will be nice to work with on and off sets and acclimatizing to all kinds of different people. And sometimes an assignment that lasts for two, more than two days. And somebody, they want somebody who's fun and flexible to work with. And you never know um, if a photographer the next time uh, the model didn't show up and they think about you or a hairstylist or a makeup artist. Uh, so be fun, be fun to work with and just be nice. Why not? And so, even though you might think that you do not need help, or if you feel ashamed to ask for help, and uh, that you want to try to manage yourself, coaching can be a truly be an invaluable asset and help you attain your goals much, much faster. And even if you think success looks like this, well, no, success is taking a step back, uh, going this direction or maybe that direction and then go for further. But uh, yeah, eventually you will get to your goals, but it takes time. It takes time. Who of you know who this is? Who of you heard about Winnie Harlow? I'm going to take a little bit of water that I have in my bottle. My water bottle. Isn't that cute? this cup who knows who this is Winnie Harlow I love her me I did good so yeah Winnie was diagnosed with a chronic skin condition characterized by deep pigmentation I think vertigo or proportions of the skin at the age of four so Winnie was a victim of bullying by other children and was reportedly called a cow or a zebra in all manner of other disparaging sluts throughout her childhood. And the verbal harassment led to have her having to change schools numerous of times, dropping out of high school, after which she comes template committing suicide. She participated in a television program, eventually America's Next Top Model. She got herself together uh, where she finally won also the, or eventually won the audience awards. And now she's over a million followers. She's part of the squad models, one of the largest modeling agencies. She has modeled for Diesel, has been featured in the Italian Vogue. 
And she did a campaign for Swarovski. And she will be in Beyonce's visual album Lemonade as well. Here for Diesel on the cover of the Luffy Show. And um, yeah, so what I want to say is so even if you have imperfections, there is a market. So you can always do modeling work as long as you believe in yourself. And eventually your imperfections will complement who you are. And so also with coaching, you can reach your goal faster and can solve a lot of energy and money sometimes to do it yourself. And if she can do it, you can do it as well. And I think Add that I show you that confidence is beauty and confidence is something you can train. So the last part, do you think uh, that Instagram is the number one opportunity to become a model? I'm not saying that you have to be an Instagram model, but through Instagram that you will get discovered. Is that the number one opportunity to become a model? What do you think? Yes, says Samira. Yes. Good, good, good. Here are some other, it's crazy. Sometimes at the show, you only see the screens. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you're right. Um, the Instagram world we live in, know your niche. and. Um, um, I want to say that uh, Kara Taylor. Uh, I want to show you. Well, I first want to say it is right. It is the number one opportunity. More and more agencies are now scouting on Instagram for hours and hours a day. They use certain hashtags. They look at certain uh, locations, and of course, there are also other ways. But uh, yeah, most of the girls I've seen, and I asked them, how did you get discovered? They are saying uh, they've been discovered by Instagram. So uh, here also, Kara Taylor discovered by Instagram, comes from a small town, Huntsville, Alabama. And her mother agency in Huntsville spotted her, and that's when her journey started. So the modeling agency in Huntsville placed Kara under the wing of a New York modeling agency. And we went off uh, first by Skype sessions. I don't know if you know her. Maybe you can leave that in the, com um, in the chat box, in the comments, I want to say. But we started off by having Skype sessions and um, we proceeded to do lots of training in New York. And she never complained. And there she went off to her first show. Um, and her first show was Alexander Wang. Then she did uh, Chanel, Dior, Prada. And I think if it wasn't for Instagram, she would never be a model. So I think that's really cool to see that Instagram can have such a big impact. So all of this achieved only by Instagram. But yeah, how do you get discovered? So a good friend of mine, uh, she has sustained herself even now by uh, having all these uh, Instagram followers. And uh, she's been approached also by different brands and she's constantly in the process of growing. And I asked her in the past, how do you do it? And her answer was, have some have professional pictures made, try to think of a color theme, and collaborate with others, work together and get to know people in the industry. And, and what you see here is he's even tagging someone. And so if I'm coaching at Next or Society, we have a day where the new face is coming in, I come in for the, for the runway training. And there's also a costume director uh, talking about the industry. And I always ask, uh, or sorry, I, I um, well, the costume director, I always ask, what is important? And he said, the confidence part is important. But I also want to say that there's also somebody from Instagram itself talking about social media. And she's saying, you just have to be yourself. And just be authentic. If you love horseback riding, if you love yoga. I mean, I love my biking. Um, 
biking on my bike through New York. So probably every day, if I'm not traveling, you will see a video of me biking because I just love it. Um, but then maybe you think to yourself, hey, I only have 200 followers. Or perhaps you think I have no time for this or what should I post now? How many followers do you have? How many followers do you have? But to overcome these obstacles, there are all kinds of great tools that you can apply in a heartbeat. I think that's amazing. And also keep in mind, the pros also started with nothing. We all have to start somewhere. So Paola is saying 740 followers. That's a lot. 1,200, 230, 200, Tiffany. Good, good, good. 120,010, 331. Good, good, good. Yeah, or you can say around this number, but good. Well, uh, let me tell you how, what you can do. And maybe also you can uh, make a screenshot and tell in one word what you think about this class if it's helpful uh, if it's inspirational or maybe it sucks <laughs> but uh share it in your stories and tag me so i can follow you as well because what i only what i do now is talking to a computer screen and i see your comments but i would love to see uh your profile and maybe you can share now also your instagram handle so we can follow each other but if you tag me in your Instagram stories, then I can follow you as well. So let's start at the very beginning. And uh, the very beginning is uh, your bio. Why don't you go and say your bio? Um, so in your bio, say something uh, like aspiring model or for bookings and inquiries, contact, and then your contact number. And, um, or say something inspiring. What I have as inspiring is that I say the distance between dreams and reality called action. And I very, very much believe in, in that. You have to take the action. If you just sit and listen, then nothing will happen. So please take the actions. And be active, follow other people, react on their pictures. If you don't engage, they also won't engage with you. And the more effort you put into it, the more results you will see. Tag people and be active on Instagram stories. And here, ta -ta -ta -ta, maybe you can make a screenshot, but here are some of the hashtags you can use by your pictures. What kind of pictures can you post? I mean, agencies uh, want to see you. So just be yourself in the sense eh, that no Snapchat filters, just you and um, and use some of the hashtags because not only ING will take a look, but also other agencies know that um, these hashtags have been used. So you can um, use those for sure. You can tag them. Um, and you can, yeah, you can ask questions or in your stories. And yeah, here are some of the programs. Hootsuite, you can um, make a schedule of your post. Hyperama, you can type something in your pictures. Font and continual is to cut the videos. And Instagram stories or go live with other models. And, but see it as your own company. I think this, what I was saying right now, is the most important part is to work together. Go search for collaborations. Go work together with photographers. Reach out to them. Say, hey, love your work. I would love to collaborate. I'm an inspiring model. I, I just started. And then you will see, and don't do it with just one photographer. Uh, do it with 10 a day. Um, just search for them through the hashtags or search panel. But uh, reach out, and not only for photographers, but also hairstylists or makeup artists, because you never know who they know and building up your portfolio. But really make sure you're visible and yeah, I think I find your own audience clients for free because it is a free platform. I don't know if you guys found me through Instagram or Facebook, but 
I'm a real person as well. And I try to always answer the questions that I got from the Instagram messages. So, um, yeah, I think really see it as your own company. Try to start with that. And I also had a girl in my class. She uh, was rejected by Elite. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to go find out, find photographers myself. And eventually she got signed. Uh, or no, she put it on Instagram. And nine months later, nine months later, Elite came up to her and asked her to come in. And now she's signed with Elite. So I think that is amazing. And also keep in mind that the pros also started with nothing. We all have to start somewhere. So let me ask you a question. And how many of you are excited about what we just talked about? And how many of you are a little bit overwhelmed because we covered so much? Oh. Tip of my water. <laughs> me, says Rola. Me, very excited. Good, good, good. I'm so excited and overwhelmed, and everything. I just need to know more about this. I'm super excited. I loved it. Good. So let me ask you a question, guys. Is it okay if I spend 10 minutes going over a very special offer I created to help you implement? Is that okay with you? Yeah, you cannot rewatch this later. It's only one time. Very excited, Evan. I'm going to Miami to meet the agencies. Good, Tiffany. Of course. Yes. All right. There we go. So now that I've told you how the whole system works, I've shown you how you can become a model. And that it's not just about being a natural beauty, what skills you need to train, and how you can use your Instagram account to become more visible. But you know what? To be successful with this, you're going to need more than information alone. I know you can be successful with the system, but you're going to need coaching. You will have questions that need answering, and you might need help in the accountability department too. So let me tell you, I take my job as a coach very, very seriously. I won't let you quit on yourself, and we will get through everything together but i cannot do that with just some slides information alone won't cut it my success rate when people go at this by themselves is almost zero percent if information was enough then you could just turn it into google but you need a guide who's been there before and who can take you there right now so what i created for you is an online modeling training. Here you learn everything you need to know about modeling. You have unlimited access. You can discover everything at your own pace. You can use the training where and whenever you want. You can watch it again and again and again, wherever, on your phone, on your computer, whenever. And yeah, it's. I think it's amazing. So what's is it uh there it's about your physical strength mental strength your photo shoots what do you need to be to have in your portfolio portfolio building posture the walk posing facial expressions and here's a success story of thomas who also did the courses i hope you remember i got a call from bmg models and they wanted to set up a meeting with me so i'll be visiting them next week thank you for your advice and everything hope to get to see you soon and um, the class was an investment, but a well-spent one. Mandy really focused on each of our individual needs and strength. My feet hurt like crazy afterwards, but this is a step closer to pursuing my dreams. Amazing woman, amazing results. Runway class with runway uh, coach. And yeah, this is one of my favorite stories about Kara who's now a very successful model. And her agency was even thanking me. They were saying special thanks to Mandy, her walking coach. 
and they were selling this to a lot of uh, big people in the industry. So who does it work for? Aspiring models, professional models, young models, older models, plus size models, male models, and influencers. Uh, I will, I. I want to also say what most people hold back is self-doubt or I'm not suitable for modeling. You might think uh, you can't get started with this because you are not suitable for modeling or you have self-doubts. But it is if but if you never try, you will never know. So even you think you are too small or you're. There are lots of opportunities for you in the modeling industry as well. It is all about self-confidence and perseverance. Do not give up. So I'm guessing there are two kinds of people listening to me right now. And maybe you can say it in the comments. Are you a doer or are you a doubter? So the doubters love to sit and listen and learn but rarely ever do anything and often look for any excuse not to move forward. Some of you are doers. You're not sure how it's going to work for you, but you see how it worked for me and how it worked for other people's people. So you have faith that it will work for you as well. What I find is that it's the doers who will get ahead in life where the doubters don't really seem to progress. So please be a doer. I see some doers here. Yes, yes, yes. So I wanna give you an overview of what it will normally cost, but don't be afraid. I'm not gonna ask you this number. What it normally costs will be the online model store starter scores, total value of 250. And, and what we also talked about what is confidence, increase your confidence, thought interpretation, self-discipline, so you're not quitting on yourself, goal settings, self-respect, motivation, and the runway walking training where I'm going to show you the walks. You can do it again. I can give you, I will give you some exercises and I'm taking you through the class step by step. It's like a training video, but then for walking the runway. And the first show starts with a great walk. A great walk can get you into a fashion show when going into the cash things. The first thing you will do is to show your walk. And sometimes it can take 20 seconds. And in those 20 seconds, they decide yes or no. So make it a yes. Stand out and impress them with a confident walk. Yes, yes, yes. So here another person is saying your confidence is amazing because of your input. Thank you. So what it normally will cost, so don't be afraid. The model starter course, confidence course, runway walking course, normally 750. And we talked about the Instagram, how to get more followers, get more likes and comments, monetize your Instagram accounts, create connections with other influencers, make your Instagram model proof. All of this, don't be afraid, normally a thousand. And I had to figure all of this stuff out. I ran into a big roadblock. I didn't know how to start, where to start and to get booked. So I don't want you to do and the same thing and spend all the time and money way back when, when I did. And I had to spend thousands of dollars for photo shoots, runway classes, traveling, and to figure out an efficient way to handle this problem. But I don't want you to have to recreate the wheel. And I've already got proven agencies for you. And I'm going to give it away to you with this package. Doesn't that sound cool? So all of this would normally, the starter course, confidence, runway walking course, model course, and the agency list would normally cost 11,000. You'll be able to get signed by an agency, get more followers on Instagram, build your portfolio, walk better on the runway, get more bookings, make castings fun, be more confident and make more money. You'll be able to get rid of don't know where to start, your insecurities, scams, free shoots and jobs, wasting your time, expensive traveling for the wrong castings and trainings, and feeling alone in the fashion industry. But I'm curious, what would all of these trainings be worth for you? 
So you can just now throw out a number and say, what will it be worth for you to get more confidence so you can stop doubting yourself and can go to castings without having to worry about reaction? So what will it be worth for you if this package did get you a runway show next year? What will it be worth for you? If this package did get you 10,000 Instagram followers, what will it be worth for you? If this year is going to be your breakthrough in the modeling industry, what will it be worth for you? Is it priceless? Is it how much? What will it be worth for you? How can we win a free? It was a free webinar, Tiffany. For sure, for sure. And Samira is also a doer. Very good. What will it be worth for you? I'm not going to pin you on anything that you're going to say right now. But what will it be worth for you? Just out of curiosity. Will it be priceless or will it be not? Anything that gets me clo closer to the VS casting is priceless. Yes, yes, yes. VS forever. Uh, and you never know. I coached one of the VS girls and it was a fourth attempt. And uh, she came from Canada, now New York. You never know. You never know, but you have to do it. So guys, I won't make you wait longer. Of course, I'm not going to ask you $1,100. No, 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 no. And of course, I'm not going to even ask you $500 for all of these questions, uh, all of these trainings. But the total price for all of these trainings is $150. What? What? So let me explain. How can it be? So I'm proudly introducing you something cool I've been working on for a couple of months. And we just went live also with the model community in the world. So in the model community, you can have online training for every stage of your career, casting training, connected with like-minded people, making new friends because we all have the same goal doing modeling and a private group to ask all of your questions whenever you want top model interviews and you can start straight away you can start right now if you want so and also not only do you get the model community you will also get a bonus video from a personal training who talks about the training he also trained victoria's secret models from a, a bonus video uh, with an interview with a model and how she got started and an interview with a dermatologist talking about skincare which is also very important what to do so what do you get a starter course confidence course runway walking course where i will show you all the walks instagram model course agency list of all the agencies bonus videos and part of the community for $150, save $950. And it's only for the doers, of course. So be a doer in life. So for everyone who wants to start as a model and who wants to take action and wants to be part of the biggest community of the world. But guys, keep in mind, this is only for the first 12 people. And in the next hour. And for the for, for people who wants to take action. So what do you have to do? What? So go to runwaycoachnyc.com slash yes. So let me show you. So you go to runwaycoachnyc.com slash yes. And here you will see the launch page. Ooh, only 50 minutes. Here you can sign up. And here you have, um, you can pay by PayPal or credit card. 
make sure this is the right email address because you will get an email with your username and your passwords and you can start straight away. What? I'm so excited. It's so cool. And also see to see all of the reactions. It's so much fun. So if I, and then you just sign up through members and there you can sign up and you see all the videos, open course, and there it is. Uh, yes, most well, starters course, bam, 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 bam. All of it. So the only thing you have to do is to go to runwaycoachnyc.com slash yes. 50 minutes left. I know it goes so fast. It goes so fast. I know. But it is for all the doers. You can start right away. And yeah, I would say the most important part is putting yourself out there and don't give up. And how long are we allowed to watch these videos? Forever. I will put them online. You can watch it forever, over and over and over again. These videos are yours. How cool is that? And you can always ask me questions in the community. So uh, you have a personal coach on the side as well. So guys, thank you so much for joining this webinar. And who of you is in, by the way? Who of you am I going to see uh, at the videos and in the model community? I'm very curious. Who am I going to see? It's only for the first 12 people and in the next hour. And in the next hour. I'm very, very excited. All right, guys. I am excited to see you and you might see me. Yeah, Lori. So cool. Yeah. You can start right away. Do your exercises. You might see me, Samira. Good, good, good. So work on those dreams. Be a doer. That's for sure. Okay. And I see you guys there. Have a great evening and thank you so much. Bye-bye.